Ladies, gentlemen, and internet dwellers, prepare your underwear, it's time for my weekly rant. Hey there, folk, and welcome back to the next weekly rant. So, this week, we're at this weekly rant. That's a good way to start, isn't it? Getting all my words wrong. In fact, extra awkward because of what this weekly rant is about. This weekly rant is about talking, because quite frankly, it's shocking how many people just get it wrong. Also, I can't do that yet. I need to. So, this is going to be going from the point of view of my work. Now, for those who don't know, I work in a model toy shop. Yeah, it's pretty cool. It's pretty fun. But one thing we do have to do is talk to people every day. And there are rules, surprisingly. We are taught how to talk to people. There are, in fact, ten things we have to get across in a conversation. We have to try and do efficiently. That if we haven't done that, then our conversation, by the judgment of management, as it were, wasn't good enough. Of course, not all of those will apply to talking to a normal person, especially considering, I'll tell you now, one of those is always ask for the sale. Um, another one is do an introductory hobby activity. Um, yeah, you can't do that with like a random person it's pretty tricky yeah stupid witches anyway that's pretty tricky so we're gonna rub over those and ignore them because you sort of can't do that that would be weird A choice. Anyway, sweet, that's what I thought. All right, so you've got a few things to say that we need to cover, and effectively, it's just going to make your life easier to talk to people. So the first one, which is our, frankly enough, our first commandment out of all of them, which, let's be fair, you really have to get right, is Everybody gets greeted. It's pretty self-explanatory. You say hi to everyone. Cool. I don't care if you've seen them before. I don't care if they've just come back from lunch. If they come into the hobby center, or for you, if you want to start a conversation with them, greet them. Because let's be honest, there's nothing worse than those random people near the bus stops who just start a conversation with you without even saying hi. I can normally, because I've had a bit of practice at it, tell how well a conversation is going to go by the way that hi is said. If that makes sense. Because if it's not said in the right way, it's pretty obvious the conversation isn't going anywhere. So, that's cool. Oh, we're going to go witchery. Anyway. Yeah, let's be honest. Get it right. Just greet everyone. I mean, how hard is that? Like, how actually hard is that? Just greet people. Say hi. If you know it, say hi. Conversation's going to suck. And you're going to have a bad time. Cool. Total Crumpet improves your life with a single idea. Just say hi. I need snowbells and... You don't need snowbells and water artichokes. No one needs snowbells and water artichokes. I come on. Right. Anyway. So guys, step one to improving your conversations, say hi. Seriously man, don't be that guy that just starts conversation when the other person just doesn't want one. 
That's friggin' weird. So then, the next step to our successful conversations is going to be commandment two, which is ask questions to find out information about the other person. Now, when I do that at work, it's finding out information about their hobby activity. What do they do with their hobby? How active are they? How often? What do they do when they do the activity? That's useful information. Now, clearly, you probably don't need to know how often this person plays with model toy soldiers. Because, let's be honest, that probably doesn't come up very often. However, you do need to know who they are, what they enjoy doing, things like that. That's pretty vital, really. In fact, probably suggest if you're not asking questions, you are doing it so wrong, you have no idea. Right, just ask. Flat up, simple, direct. Ask questions. Because if you're not asking questions, your conversation can't get better. It's one of the big things that people, or especially myself, struggle with when making YouTube videos, for instance. I can't ask questions, at least not ones that I get reasonably quick responses to. Like, big deal here guys, ask questions, know what they do in their spare time, know where they go, know what, know things like that. Don't get creepy about it, don't just like, what do you do in your spare time, where do you go, blah blah blah, just one go at a time, just get it right, it's not that hard, people aren't scary. Very few of them bite. In fact, those that do tend not to bite for very long, because they tend to get put away for biting. Um, so, let's be fair, you're probably safe. So yeah, ask questions. Without questions, you can't have a conversation. Like, literally. You have no idea how many times I've been chatting with someone, and one of my colleagues has just come over and just asked a question that I hadn't thought of. They're going, ah, oh, did you know about this thing? And the other person goes, ah, oh, no, I didn't. I wish this fungtard Tim had told me, because actually, that would have really helped my conversation and I'd have found out loads of information and basically I didn't tell them because I didn't know because I didn't ask so yeah ask because again if you don't it's just going to go badly there is no reason to not ask questions unless you're disinterested in talking to them at which point this rand isn't helping anyway. If you don't want to talk to them, just don't talk to them. But if you genuinely wish to talk to someone, ask questions. Because if you know more stuff, you can ask better questions from there on. Your conversation is better. And yes, in the store I can make better recommendations. I can work out what activities we could do with them. I can work out what's going to help them the most. In a normal person's conversation, asking questions makes you a better friend. Like, just flat up. If you have a friend and you don't know anything about them, I will put it to you subtly. They're not your friend. They are someone you occasionally just talk at. Nice and simple, isn't it? They're not actually a friend. You just talk to them occasionally. So, yeah. Don't just be that guy that just talks to people. Ask, and quite frankly, if you're not asked, the other person, if you don't know them very well, probably doesn't care very much about your opinion. Um, yeah. I find it quite a lot that when you start out my job, people are like, oh yeah, I'll just ask all these like amazing questions and I'll talk to them about my hobby and I'll do this and the other. No. If it's not their hobby, 
shouldn't be talking to them about it. So, same works for you guys. If it's not about them, and you're wondering why your question, why your conversation's a bit rubbish, it's probably because you're not talking about them. There is one thing people will always be able to talk to you about. That is them. They don't tend to tire of that question topic. They uh, tend to also know exactly what they're talking about when they do it. So yeah, it's like a good place to be. So we got guys, commandment one. Greet everyone. And literally, if you're not greeting them, just shut up and walk away. Because you're literally becoming that person that no one wants to talk to. Don't do that. Because by definition, no one wants to talk to you. Because you're the guy no one talks to. So that's going to go great for improving your conversation. Going, Why is no one talking to me? Because you're that guy. Okay. You are literally, you're not being talked to because no one's going to talk to you. That's like your reason. Good job. So. We don't do that. No. Because that's stupid. So, we've worked out. One, talk to people. Say hi. Two, ask questions. If you're not talking about them, and you're not getting them to talk more about them, conversation's going badly. Okay? People can talk about themselves all day long. Is in fact, humankind's greatest conversational topic is me. It's not me saying I'm humankind's greatest conversational piece. I'm saying that people always will find themselves to be the easiest thing to talk about. Oh my word. No. Oh. Alright. So anyway, yeah, people will always find themselves the easiest thing to talk about. Because quite frankly, they spend all day thinking and knowing about themselves. So, why wouldn't they be really easy to talk to about? The third commandment is completely non-applicable to you, because it is run an introductory hobby activity now. Right, so... That doesn't help you, because you can't run an intro hobby activity because you're not doing a hobby. Ah, I've got a floor of blood. Tasty. Lead. Okay, anyway. We always talk about the other person. Can't run the hobby activity. Oh, that's actually quite useful. Your fourth is something that, again, is really useful to do. Talk about it, because it's like the thing to talk about. Uh, four is always maintain positive nature. And always make make sure your conversations are positive and productive. Technically for me, that means I have to always talk 
make the conversation about my shop's product, but I'm not talking about the model toy soldiers that we sell specifically, that we make ourselves, then it's not productive in any way for the store. So, always make sure your conversation is positive and productive. Try not to sit there going, um, ah, uh, um, ah, uh, because that doesn't help. In fact, that becomes like a rant. So we're covering that topic pretty well right now. Make sure that you're not repeating yourself too much. Find out those questions. Make sure your questions are good. If your questions are rubbish, like, rubbish and they're closed, which is another really important thing, don't ask closed questions. Get onto that in a moment. If they're rubbish questions, your conversation is going to be very one-sided. It's that they're basically going to be saying, yeah, no, yeah, actually, no, no, yes, no, yes. And that's the limit of your conversation as rubbish. So for those of you that don't know, a closed question is the question with which yes or no is an appropriate answer. Don't ask them. The conversation is to be really rubbish and one-sided, and the witch is right next to my ears and get really loud, because if I teleport up on, my, on this, they for some reason can see me. So let's get killing. Always op ask open questions. So instead of saying, have you, or instead of saying, do you work? Because the answer is yes. Say, what do you do for work? Or, I, you know they go to a school. Cool. What do they study? All right, you're too young for that. What's their favorite thing? As opposed to going, do you have a favorite subject? Yes, everyone does. You just do. Okay? I mean, that's sort of like some walking into a shoe shop and the attendant turns up and goes, do you have a size for your shoes? Well, the answer to that is yes, because I wear shoes, so they have a size. And no, I don't manufacture them myself, so I know what that size is. Okay. That doesn't actually help the attendant in any way, other than the fact that they know that I'm not a montard. That's not gleaned them any information, other than the fact that I'm potentially slightly obstructive because they're asking stupid questions, which irritates me. So, Commandment 1 should be up on screen right now, if I've ever did edited this right. Commandment 1 is always greet everyone. Commandment 2 is always make sure you are asking questions. Make sure they're good questions. Because, honestly, otherwise no one's going to talk to you. Okay, Commandment 4. Because we're going to miss Commandment 3 because that's not appropriate. Although, could potentially be, if you're in the kind of situation which will allow it, always run an introductory activity. You have an activity with them. They're more likely to remember you. They're more likely to talk to you. You're more likely to not get a hand put in your face while the person says, back off, creep. If you're not in a situation when you can run an activity and you try, you're probably going to get that. But it'll be quite funny. So, our next one is going to be four. Crazy, I know, that we're going up through the numbers. Always run. Always make sure your conversations are productive in all forms. That means don't um and ah. That means don't ask rubbish questions that don't help in any way, shape, or form. Because you know what you need to know. Just ask. Okay. The next one. Um which is sort of appropriate, which is a bit weird, is commandment five. Find out what they want, find out what they need, sell them what they want. Of course, it's not entirely appropriate if you're not selling something to someone, but at the same time, it sort of is. Really? So, humankind makes relationships because it benefits them. It's just convenient that way. We do it because, quite frankly, it's better than not knowing them, so you make that relationship. Okay, that is not in any way because you're lonely and that sucks because no one likes you. 
that's a sense of this is literally just how human beings work. We do that. If a relationship can benefit both parties, it's a good one. If it can't, it's pretty rubbish, probably quite one-sided. No one's really going to enjoy it. Um, but hey, people might. So, what we're looking at is we're now looking at productive. Next, next piece of advice is our commandment six, which is a bit weird, but equally at the same time, really useful for you. Always invite them back. So for us, an invite back is really useful because it's like the promise that someone will actually come back which you can see the immediate benefit of because we get another chance to sell something to them the benefit for you is they don't just leave and forget you and never return because they'll just forget that you exist and that sucks because there's someone out there that you wish they knew you existed and they don't doesn't take more than a brain cell to work out why that sucks so our tip is going to be, just do it. Talk to them. Most people don't bite. Yeah, invite them back. Find out when you're next going to see them. It doesn't have to be creepy, like, oh, if I give you this card, will you, like, call me back and we can meet up sometime? No, because that's weird. But, find out when you're next going to meet them. Be a bit cheeky. Right, the best advice I can probably give you is just be cheeky. Because worst case scenario, they say no. People like someone that makes them smile, so make them smile. Surprising, I realise. But it shouldn't be. So, there we go. Seventh is actually always make sure you run a spontaneous hobby activity. Now, of course, for you that doesn't really relate to much, but remember that if you're talking with someone, and then you do something as well, say, you go get a coffee you read a magazine, you show them an interesting article because you thought it was cool and you thought they might like it as well that's great that's an interesting article that's something they're gonna read yeah that's something you can do together that instantly links your interests it also allows you to have some more time to ask some of those better questions remember those ones that we told you about earlier that you really need to ask and like you need to make sure they're good and things like that Well. This is the chance, with these good questions, you make good things happen. You ask bad questions, people rage out and never talk to you again. And we don't want that. Because that would, by its very definition, suck donkey balls. Well, I suppose, not donkey balls explicitly, but you get the gist. So we've got our run an activity in a slightly non-creepy way of hi I'm running an activity for you. But in the sense of why don't we get a coffee? I don't know. You are also reading the paper that I am reading. Have you seen this particularly cool article? They might have done. If they have, ask them what their favourite bit is. If not, show them what what their favourite bit could be. I'll be honest, we have one we have a weekly magazine called White Dwarf. If that is your hobby if that is your spontaneous hobby activity with someone, it's a bad spontaneous hobby activity but it is one. It's better than not doing one with a person. Because not doing them is unacceptable. Um, so you do something if it is simply showing them an article and we do like paint guides right, that's pretty good paint guides are alright things like that for us in the shop uh, we actually do things like why don't I show you 
this single really cool model you've been thinking about well done um, bits of stuff like that you would be surprised how easy it is to find these activities and actually at the end of the day if you can't find an activity we've got a trick in the store you turn around and say look mate if you could have an hour of my time to help improve your hobby what would you like to do and you literally just ask them and you know what most of the time they'll just tell you they go oh actually I think I could really improve my hobby if I had I don't know, a paint lesson so you turn around and go oh no why don't we do a paint lesson oh well I haven't really got time okay well we can book you we can like we can get you to come in later you go, oh that sounds really cool so what you've now done you've asked questions you probably said so you said hi to them that's C1 brilliant good job you've then asked questions because you've now found out what they could do what they what they would like to do and what would help them the most so you've covered C2 right so now we've offered them C7 which is why don't we do an activity for you and they go oh well, I haven't really got time so what we do So what you do is you find out, okay, well, if you haven't got time, mate, when could you do that? Oh, look, suddenly we've hit C1, 2, 4, because we've made sure our conversation is productive. We've hit 7, because technically we've offered it. If we can't run it now, that's not a problem. We have still offered it. And you've hit, oh, well, suddenly you've hit 6 as well, because you've offered to, that they could come back and do it. So, suddenly you've hit pretty much all of your pieces. Oh, well, good job there, mate. Because you've now hit all but C3, which we're sort of ignoring anyway. We've missed out C10, which is always asked for the sale. So that's not appropriate. So we've missed out two of them. We've already hit five. Uh, we've already hit five. Uh, number eight isn't appropriate because it's make sure they know about White Dwarf on the website. So... Great, that's not going to help you. Uh, so we're ignoring that. So you've done five out of five out of uh, seven. Cool. Well, actually, that's not five. Yeah, it's five out of seven because the three we're ignoring at the moment. You sort of found out what they need and what they want. So actually, you know what they need and they want. Because flat up, you asked. So good job there. So you've done five. So we've now hit six out of seven and the final one is always challenge their hobby well that's appropriate in the sense of always challenge what they know they can do um, so you know they are able to and you do it with them they're able to do something cool find out what it is challenge them to do it better Challenge them to take something new up. So, find out. I oh, know. Your friend has always had an interest in, but has never played water polo. Great. Would they like to try? Yeah, sure. You probably can't teach them to play water polo. That's not what I'm saying. I'm not saying, ah, oh, you need to be able to teach your friend water polo, because otherwise, you're a rubbish friend. No. Because that's not true. But if you offer it, then your friend will go, oh, actually, we could learn. You go, yeah, we could. Awesome. So you put them in, get your activity, get your invite. All of a sudden, once again, things are looking pretty shiny. And actually, you know something they're not going to do that's going to challenge them. You've now hit seven out of seven of your commandments. Because you asked. As opposed to going, oh, well, I could just talk to them. I could just talk crap to them for like a while. And that'd be okay. Because then I'm having like conversation with them so that's that's good right no it's not because you're actually doing more damage to them by talking to them and doing it wrong so we've covered guys what we should probably be to how we should talk to people we've covered which bits aren't 
useful for you as part of my trading. So we've skipped over it, but we've covered actually things that are useful for you. So always greet people. That's just win. Like as a tip for life, that will just make you win more. Okay? Done. Second one is quite frankly the most useful one. Ask questions, because if you're not asking questions, conversations aren't any good. Because you're not asking questions, so it can't be any good. You don't have any idea what's going on. So, yeah, ask questions, good idea. After that, we've got make sure your conversations are positive and productive at all times. Great, so don't be a mongtard, don't um and er too much. Make sure you are asking those questions. Make sure those questions are good questions. Ask open questions. If they can answer with a yes or a no, your question sucked. There are times I will appreciate that you do need a yes or no answer. One of them in my line of work is asking for the sale. There's no point going, ah, oh, why would you buy this? Or something like that, because that's open. That's rubbish. What reasons do you have for buying this? That's not asking. You say, do you want to get it? That's asking, and a yes or no answer is useful. Most of your time in your life, a yes or no answer is probably not useful. So we try and get that. Okay? Try and get open questions. Once you've then got those open questions, we're then gonna need to hit we're then gonna need to hit five, find out what they need, sell them what they want. Your friend needs to be helped with his maths homework. Cool, help him with his maths homework. What he wants, yeah, what he wants is to go ice skating. Right, well, send him what he wants. Find out how. Find out what you might need to know that he might not already know about going ice skating. Make it happen. Okay. Last one we've got, the last two we've got are Invite them back. Or three. Invite them back. Find out when you're next meeting them. Yeah? If you can, book a time to next meet them. It's just a good idea. Generally good practice. Know when you're seeing them next. Because then, you can work out what you want to do next. The next one is, run a spontaneous activity. Do something. If you've invited them to do it, that still counts as running it. But you still have to do the activity there. Just because you've told them you can do it, and they've come specifically for it, doesn't mean that's not doing an activity. Do it. Win at it. Same time, work out what you could do next. Alright? And then our, our last single piece is challenge them. Always push them to be better than they currently are. Alright? And that's not a snotty, oh, your friends are rubbish, so make them better. That's a, if you can continue to push them to do cooler and cooler things, suddenly... You are actually the coolest person on earth because actually all you're allowing them to do is by talking with you, their life gets better. So actually, as a single individual to talk to, you become solid gold win. There is nothing left of you that is not winning at this stage. Okay? So, how we talk to people. One, greet everyone. Two, ask questions. Three, don't do number three. That'd be weird. You're not working in my shop. Four, always make sure your conversations are productive. If they're not productive, they're not conversations. You'd possibly be better off just shutting up and going somewhere else. Five, find out what they need. Sell them what they want. Do stuff they need to have. Although, offer and make sure they can do all the things they want to do. Because wants are amazing. They're like everything you need in your life that you don't actually need. That's a want. Make it happen. Six, invite them back. All right, yes, I will probably wouldn't invite them back with like a written invite card going, I really enjoyed having you around at my house list. I ran at my house today. Would you like to come around next Tuesday? That's weird, right? No one does that. Just say, oh mate, when are you coming around next? Or, oh, wouldn't it be cool if we met up next week like for a drink or something? That'd be cool. Unless you're underage, but get my gist, okay? Try and secure some kind of next meeting. 
Yeah? Be cheeky with it. Alright? If it's a girl you're chatting to that you don't know, or a boy you're chatting to that you don't know, that you would like to know better, be cheeky with it. Alright? Go, ah, oh, I'd really like to... I don't know. I'd really like to get a drink next week with you if that'd be cool. Because actually, a lot of the time, people will probably say yes just because you asked, and it was pretty cool that you asked. Okay? You have no idea how often just going, oh, actually, it's pretty fun being with you. Would you like to be with you more? Yes. Like, just ask. Okay? Worst case scenario, they say no. Well, if you didn't ask anyway, you were getting a no. So you weren't even helping yourself because you were already getting a no. So, we'll just cut out the middleman here. Don't have a no. <laughs> okay? Next one is do an activity. It's always more fun having an activity. If you've got one, you're good. Okay? Even if it's meeting for a coffee, meeting for a drink in a pub, going and, like, reading through a magazine that you always read, that they always read. I play miniature war games because that's something I do. That's an activity. One of the things that I do with a lot of people that I know online. I play video games. That's an activity. We're doing a game. I'm finding out more about them. Things like that. That's winning. Okay? And the next one is challenge them. If you're making sure that every time that they meet you and have a chat with you, that you're coming up with something new that's cool that they can do, whether it's another hobby, whether it's how to improve something they already do, going, oh, you already water ski. Have you thought about this course where you can go and you can learn to be an instructor or you can do this course where you can, like, become a water skiing god sort of thing? All right? Challenge them. Find out more about what they want to do. Make make it happen. Make it better than they even believed it could be. All right? Challenge them. If you're not challenging someone, your relationship with them might not be as good as you think. Okay? So, just make it happen. Yeah? Last one is number 10, which once again, we're going to sort of skip over, because that would be weird, because it's ask for the sale. So, we ignore that one, because you shouldn't be doing that with a friend. Right. This has reached, effectively, the end time for my weekly rant, I'm afraid I have run, should we say, a little bit over. It was been a good rant. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to leave me a like, comment, and all that. If you think I've missed anything, definitely let me know. Because, again, it's all part of an improving process. This is not the be-all and end-all of how to talk to people. It's a pretty good stab in the dark. But, yeah, there are bits that have gone wrong. There are bits that are not that. So, let me know. I'd love to know what you guys thought of this rant. If it's helped you, please make sure you let me know. If there's anything you'd like to know next time, do let me know. Overall, this has been Toe Crumpet or Vralka. Thank you very much for watching, guys. I will see you all next time. Ta-ta for now.